Hi guys, hopefully you had a great Christmas. I did, we got a new microphone, some new lights you can't see, some new cameras, so all in all, I'm gonna have some awesome videos coming for you guys in the new year. So I'm really excited, hopefully you are too. Today we're gonna start with the cracked ice design, which I did on my ice bubbles quilt here. So we'll get started with this one because it's really cool, I think, and we can also try out my new stuff. All right, all right, so. Whoops, I'm just gonna knock over the shelf behind me here. Did you see this awesome K I got for my birthday? It's a light up K, and oh, for my birthday, for Christmas. Guys, I swear, I know what's going on in the world. So we're gonna do the cracked ice design, which I think is a really fun design to quilt. It looks really cool and isn't too difficult. So I'm gonna start by just giving myself a box to quilt in. Even though this design can easily go without bounding boxes, it's just easier for me to teach in the box. So the first thing I'm going to do is start in a random spot and draw a line straight down so that I'm making a triangle shape. Then, before I even move the ruler, what I want to do is zoom back up it a little bit and then come off and make another triangle. Okay, the reason I want to do the backtracking before I move the ruler is so it makes it way easier to keep the stitching around top of each other. So I end up really right back on top of myself as opposed to sort of just a little bit off. So it's really helpful if you need to backtrack in this design to just keep it on the, do, to do your backtracking before you move your ruler. So I'm here, I'm just making sort of random triangular shapes throughout this design. And you can see I'm trying to have corner things meet in corners Sometimes not, but I don't want to have too many coming into the same point. If I have sort of 15 lines all coming into one point, it's going to create sort of a bubble in the quilt. So I try and limit the number of lines coming into one spot to sort of five or six. Any more than that, I find it really starts to bubble the quilt. So I like to have some triangles all meeting in the same spot. Sort of right here, you can see these are all meeting, whereas this one, they're meeting in different spots. Of course, not all of these end up being triangles. Some of these can be sort of rhombus shapes, um, a little bit more squares or rhombuses. So I do tend to do mostly triangles. I think that gives us a nice... So you can see there, I backtracked before I moved the ruler. So there you can see the start of the cracked ice design. It's really just sort of random straight lines, some coming to the same point and some not. I don't know guys, it's pretty easy. I don't have a lot more to tell you about it. So hopefully you like it as much as I do. You guys, I might have a new set up for recording videos, but I didn't get any better at it. I still have no idea what I'm talking about and tend to flub my lines all the time. I'm actually here, it's Boxing Day today when I'm filming this and there's the stores closed today and so it's just me talking to myself in the middle of an empty store. So that's a little different for me. Um, but that's the Cracked ice, des ice Design. I think it's really fun. And that is the official end of the ruler series. So good job guys, we made it through. It was a long one. It ended up being longer than I had anticipated, but it was really fun. So hopefully you guys like the ruler series. We're starting the feather series in a couple weeks, so we'll see you then. Thanks for hanging out with me. I don't know why this got so awkward at the end. I had to say, oh, thanks, it was fun. No, I have to go, thanks, or, um, anyways. See you again for the feather series.